Hi, I'm Phil Ropeman, and welcome to episode five of Burnside Neutral 2030. It's surprising how many resources and how much energy can be saved if we buy products with recycled materials in them. Buying recycled materials is part of the circular economy. What does that mean? Well, traditionally, we've had quite a linear economy where we take natural resources, we make something with it, and then people use it and dispose of it, often to landfill. And that's a huge waste of resources and energy. In contrast, in a circular economy, things are designed and built so that they can be reused and recycled, and they include recycled material. Then people purchase them and use them, and when they're finished with them, they make sure they are recycled and reused. Now, I can't emphasize enough the importance of purchasing materials that have recycled content. That keeps the circular flow. The city of Burnside supports the circular economy and we purchase all sorts of materials and products that have recycled content. Here's a few examples from our team. Council uses recycled products in our road resurfacing program. And this year we are looking at tripling the amount of recycled asphalt we will be using. We are adding recycled glass too. Glass that breaks into small pieces cannot be turned back into bottles, but it can be used in roads. The playground equipment we have recently installed at WH Holmes Reserves includes the use of recycled materials, such as the HDPE panels seen here. All of the materials used to create this play equipment can be recycled at the end of the playground's life. The rubber soffle under our feet is made up of two layers, a thin coloured top layer made using 20% recycled rubber and a thick underlayer which is made using 100% recycled rubber. This predominantly comes from used truck tyres. Council install these crates underground to help direct water to trees. And of course, they are 100% recycled plastic. You can find out more by watching the first episode of Burnside Neutral 2030. There is no need to use new materials when comparable items can be made from recycled materials. This park bench has been made with recycled plastic, rice husks and recycled hardwood timber. We also use recycled materials for our post and rails and our bollards. These recycled products also require less maintenance than using new materials such as timber. Recycled materials can be used on indoor furniture too. These seats, like the one I'm sitting on, are made from 100% recycled material. The mesh is made from recycled drink bottles. They're comfortable and importantly, they're recyclable at the end of their useful life. And we hope you have a kitchen caddy to put your food scraps in your green bin. These are free for Burnside residents and are made from 100% recycled plastic. Another way we are reducing our impact on the environment is by using recycled paper at Council. Using recycled paper creates demand, which is important, because then the paper you put into yellow bins has somewhere to go. We also use recycled sand and rubble for our civil works. These products are manufactured from reused concrete and rubble material. We use this material for repairing roads, footpaths and walkways throughout the city. It is great that there are now so many products available that the council can buy that include recycled materials. We're working with other councils, uh, the Local Government Association of South Australia and the state government to expand and support the circular economy you can play your part too. There are now a range of products that you can buy that include recycled material. The supermarket is a great place to start. You can buy recycled aluminium foil, and you can buy all sorts of products in plastic containers that are made with 100% recycled plastic. Things like common cleaning products, or uh, shampoos and conditioners, and even drinking water in 100% recycled plastic bottles. Uh, also available, we've got paper that is recycled into toilet paper and printing paper that's been available for a long time and I can't emphasise enough the importance of buying all of these products that have recycled material in them to play your part, like Council, in the circular economy. Thanks for watching this episode and stay tuned for the next episode of Burnside Neutral 2030.